Hi everyone, today we are testing um, Metabond uh, Mark IV uh, with um, Canon lens 100 to 400 millimeter uh, Mark II. That's the IS USM version. Alright, it's a windy day here, sorry in Melbourne. Uh, so, sorry for the um, sound quality. So, what, what we're going to do is um, do some set some uh, base baseline to get the performance on this system here 7D and then what I've got here is um, Sony a7 II and also uh, we got this Sony a7 R2 and these are the latest Sony cameras with the grip here We start with the maximum aperture of this lens, which is 4.5. Uh, it's an overcast day. Um, and so what I do, I'll focus at infinity and then try to focus to these leaves around on the, <coughs> just here. So this infinity and It's it's quite fast. I'm just double checking it. So we started with uh, 100 mil. I'm gonna go towards 200 and do the same thing. What's good about this lens is the minimum focusing distance, and that's about a meter, three feet, and that's <coughs> would allow you basically to get some kind of macro shots. Um, so we go infinity again. Still fast. All right, let's move on to 300. Um, focusing infinity. It's hunting a bit, I think. Oh, yeah, it's too close. Too, it's hunting, it's too close. <coughs> Let me start infinity again. It's hunting. It's too close now. Alright. So from infinity to uh, minimum distance, it would take about a second to focus. But from the minimum distance, which is like there, uh, to infinity, it would take two or three seconds to fo focus. And that is at 300. We go to 400, do the same thing. So this is minimum. That was three and a half seconds actually. Mm -hmm. So at 400, and we got the crop sensor uh, lens here, that's like 600 millimeter. We take three and a half, four seconds, which is a, uh, substantial. Uh, we got the Metabon Mark IV and uh, a7 Mark II and with the Canon lens on. So we're gonna do the same test. All right, so uh, focusing infinity. So a couple of seconds, that's at 100 millimeter. So close again, infinity. That's quicker, a second. Let's go to 200. So this is just to test this um, focusing speed. Infinity. Two and a half second from um, closest to infinity. Now from infinity to close distance, about three seconds at 200. We go straight to 400. All right, so at 400 millimeters, um, we're going to close. Minimum distance to infinity. Four seconds. 
again from infinity focused we're gonna go to a uh, short uh, minimum distance two and a half three second We got the A7R2 here mounted on the Metabone. So with the setting, we try to keep all of them uh, constant on old cameras. Um, and also for the focusing, um, uh, we got the I got the center point, which is the fastest one. And at this stage, we are testing it like that. Okay, so at 100 millimeters, infinity for focusing. Now we go to like that. So again from close range. About three seconds. That's at hundred millimeters. And from infinity to close three seconds. Okay, let's go to two hundred. Infinity, close range, three and a half second. Start from close to infinity again. Four second. Let's go to four hundred. Three, three and a half second. A7R2, um, the focusing was very similar with A7 II, uh, but at the longer ranges it was struggling a bit uh, to, fo to focus from the sh short distance to uh, infinity. Now, and also in terms of the firmware we had here, uh, on the Metabone we had the latest one, uh, which, um, uh, early 2016, body firmware for the Sony's is 3.1 and the latest. And something to note is for your Metabone to work on some of these lenses you need to update your uh, Sony firmware otherwise it won't work same as with the Metabone overall this lens I mean there are plenty of uh, reviews on this lens but overall it's a really good lens um, uh, it's a nice range uh, but having said that it's it's not light um, just take it out. You can take photos with it. It's about I think 1.6 kilos, but I would say after five ten minutes your hand would get a bit tired. Um, the tripod is recommended. And also with I tested the um, uh, image stabilization. That was really good. I was taking photos um, like 150th of second on 400 millimeter on. Uh, Sony A7 II. So um, I, I guess we got the image stabilization in the lens and a bit of it in the camera. I'm not sure how they work together in that case, but I could take nice photos with that. Um, Alright guys, uh, uh, I thought uh, I'd do a wrap, wrap up and conclusion about our test and um, took a very colorful shirt so you know, bring some energy <laughs> Alright, so the test that we did um, Let's take this beast out uh, on Canon to set the baseline, this is the 7D obviously this is a crop sensor uh, but the reason we use 7D is because it's fast. Um, the test we did, um, one, I just want to mention a major uh, 
advantage, this disadvantage of uh, Canon versus Sony. First thing is the ISO performance is uh, is not good at all compared to Sony. Uh, so the 70. Uh, although we were shooting with the full frame Sony one, um, I'm sure uh, if we, we use the A6000 or A6300, uh, the ISO performance of Sony is much better than Canon because with this, when I go like uh, above 1600, the ISO, um, the images it becomes grainy and not not very good. Now, with the test, I, I will put down, the, I will write down the uh, um, focusing speed and everything, so you can compare it and have a look. Um, obviously, um, uh, it's not. In all cases, it's not as fast as uh, um, Canon, but the Sony was uh, was quite good and comp uh, and you know being competitive. Um, so, what was interesting that A7R2 was slower to focus, although it's uh, newer and it's it's much better than A7 II. So that's what what we found, and also. Um, what also uh, you would notice when you start using it, you, you don't see those basically on paper and on specification, is the handling. So I'm just going to mount this on uh, 7D. What is different about this camera, Canon, although Canon is far uh, behind Sony, um, the advantage of this is the body. When you, when you touch it, when you uh, basically um, you've got a grip, really good grip, uh, you can feel like it's a good construction. It's, you know, uh, this 7D is a mag magnesium alloy, and it feels much better, especially when you mount it on a, a very heavy lens. When I had this lens mounted on Metabone and then uh, A7R2 and 72, um, it was you don't feel very comfortable basically because it's very heavy you can see sometimes there's a bit of wobble towards the end of the uh, at the mounts um, although uh, Metabone is really good mount you can see the construction but still it's it doesn't feel like Canon you know especially if you want to go I don't know in the um, do uh, photography in in the bush and you know and beat the camera and whatnot uh, this looks a lot more rigid than a Sony and it feels better. Having said that, the image quality of Sony is better, the ISO performance is better, and also if you use um, uh, A6300 and A7R, the amazing tracking system it has, it's much better than Canon. So to me, it just a matter of uh, the way you select between Canon and so it's a preference and what you like. Um, some people, you know, they um, um, choose Canon because prove itself some Sony because they want the image quality um, all right I hope you found this video useful if you have any comments or anything you want to add make sure you add it uh, comments below thank you